Alright, so hello, welcome to my first ever tutorial. And today I'm just going to be showing you how to make a simple uh, bass shake effect on your edit. Alright, so first of all, make sure all of your clips are ready. I've already took your mine. And then after you've done that, make sure to click on this one. Just click on this button to enable motion blur and just enable it on all of your clips. Alright, so after that, go to your effects and presets and search up motion. Scroll down until you find motion tile. And then just copy my settings, 400, 100, and click on mirror edges. And after after you added your motion tile, just click on the motion tile, press Control C, and then just paste it on all of your clips. So as you can see, all of your all of the clips has motion tile. Alright, after you've done with your motion tile, type in S underscore blur more curves, and then just put it on your clip. So I think. I think I'm just gonna put a simple um, zoom into normal and then just back to zoom in and then just all right so just follow just follow what I do click on the stopwatch to keyframe the thing to keyframe the Z dist just put it as 0.4 and then go like at the middle of your clip and just set this to 1 and then press C on your keyboard to open the effects uh, effects menu Select all of the keyframes and just press your F9 key to easy ease. And then go to your graph and then just copy my graph. Uh, just put that. And it should look like this. Alright. So now I'm just going to zoom out after that. Just click, go to, press O to go to at the end of your, uh, at the end of the clip. And then change that back to whatever you want. I'll do 0.4 because I want to zoom back in. Select these two keyframes. And then go to your graph. And just copy my graph if you want to. Oh. And then that should be it. Alright, so now it'll look like this. Alright, after you scale your clip, type in S underscore shake, put that in your clip, and just follow my settings. Put your amplitude to 5, your frequency to 5, go to your X shake, set the ra um, rand amp to 36, and the wave amp to 30, and then go to your Y shake, and just do the same. 36 and 30. All right. So now you're gonna keyframe this. Uh, click the stopwatch and then just go at the middle of your clip and set that to zero. And again, easy is it, and just graph it. All right. All right. So now it'll look like that. All right. After you added your S shake, go back to your uh, effects and preset at Twitch. Alright, so now uh, change the speed to 30 and then go to your and then go to enable. Make sure your slide is checked and then go to your operation uh, operator controls, slide, and change the slide amount to 100. Alright, and now you key uh, and now you keyframe this keyframe the amount and then uh, what I suggest you to do just is don't go at the middle of the clip because like this will only be for like a split second it'll only it'll add like a small effect uh, what I usually do is just go like four to five frames forward so just one two three four five and then just set that to zero all right so now easy 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 and keyframe it Make sure, make sure your graph is like this. Alright, just copy mine. After you added all of the effects, your clip should be look like this. Alright, so after you've added all of the effects on your clip, and then just repeat it on all of the other clips. So I'm just, I'll am just i be right back once I finish all of them. Alright, so I finished putting all of the shakes, all of the effects on my clips, and this is how it turns out.
All right, so that's pretty much it. If you aren't satisfied, uh, like the shakes and all, you can always just like mess around with the, um, with the uh, frequency. All right, so let's, let's say for example this scene, you want this shake to be like subtle, or like not fast. You can always just change this to like five, and it'll just look like. See that? It's the shakes are just subtle. It's not. It's not too much. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. So if you have any questions or like any problems, just um join the Discord. Join just join my Discord server. Link is in the description, and just tag me and just ask anything. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.